Hello, I'm Dana Sparks, Managing Broker of Maximum One Realty Greater Atlanta. And today's contract tip has to do with the topic of Atlas Chalet shingles. Now these are faux architectural shingles that were discontinued in 2010 because they are a faulty product that fail on a regular basis. The issue for you as a real estate agent, however, is the fact that they are failing so badly. There are several class action lawsuits against them. And since they're no longer being manufactured, a roof cannot be replaced if there are uh, parts of the roof that are damaged with these faulty shingles. They can't be matched with like kind. I will link in the description below a picture of the Atlas Chalet shingles and some information from one of the Maximum One vendors, Halo Restorations and Construction. So here's the issue. Number one, they might be difficult to recognize for you as a real estate agent when you are working with a buyer looking to purchase a home and for a home inspector who may not be familiar with these Atlas Chalet shingles and the issue. The problem with them is this needs to be managed and dealt with and negotiated through up front before the buyer ever goes under contract with the seller. There are, if the seller makes a claim against their homeowner's insurance, there is a possibility that their homeowner's insurance will cover the replacement of a new roof. However, if a buyer purchases a home with Atlas Chalet shingles, they could even close on the home and with hazard insurance, which if they're getting a mortgage, you know that it is required that they have hazard insurance on their home. However, once they have closed on their home and their insurance company sends out a, uh, an adjuster, I don't, I don't know what the lingo is in the insurance industry, but they typically send out someone one to two to three weeks afterwards just to take a look and do a drive-by and check out the property that the hazard insurance company is insuring. If the homeowner's insurance company sees that they're Atlas Chalet shingles, not only is the roof not insurable, the entire home is not insurable. So at Maximum One, one of our agents has had to deal, deal with this on two separate transactions, one in which she represented a buyer and one in which she represented a seller. Here's the deal. As I mentioned, not only is the roof not insurable, the entire property is not insurable. They will lose their hazard insurance. No, uh, no hazard insurance company in our local area in Metro Atlanta will insure a property with Atlas Chalet shingles. At least she did not find so and we checked several. So it is very important because as you know, as part of having a mortgage, it is required you have homeowner's insurance. Well, if you cannot find hazard insurance to be issued by a homeowner's insurance company, then guess what? The mortgage, uh, the lender will have to insure the property themselves. You can just imagine what that insurance rate will be. So here's the other issue. It's very important that you as a real estate agent, please investigate this, is this issue. There is a lot of information online. There is a lot of misinformation online. There is a lot of information online right now that does say that a, an insurance company will cover a roof replacement. Remember, that is for the owner that already owns that property, not for a new buyer who purchases a property with those Atlas Chalet shingles. Here's another thing to keep in mind regarding homeowner's insurance. Georgia now requires any third party involved in an insurance claim to be a licensed public adjuster. Georgia House Bill 610 passed in March of 2014 requires any person not named by an insurance policy be a licensed public, public adjuster in order, quote, to provide for definitions, to provide for written contracts, to provide for standard of conduct, to provide for penalties, to provide for related matters, to provide for an effective date, to repeal conflicting laws, 
and for other purposes when involved in any real property insurance claim. So that is just another thing is to make sure that if there is an insurance claim being made, even for the seller, that you are making sure that you are using a licensed public adjuster. Here is a picture of the Atlas Chalet shingles. Again, they are faux architectural shingles. They are three tab architecture or faux architectural shingles um, with a dimensional appearance. They're supposed to look like the more expensive architectural shingles, but they were much more affordable. They come in a variety of colors and a variety of granule thicknesses. You know that that grainy stuff that goes on top of a of a shingle. Um, Anyway, this is going to be a big issue, especially if you represent a buyer who purchases a home with the Atlas Chalet shingles and all of a sudden loses their hazard insurance. You are in trouble because they, well, they're in trouble, not you, but of course they're going to end up trying to blame you as a real estate agent. Um, not all, but uh, anyway, this is definitely going to be an issue. It is going to gain more and more notoriety, so to speak, uh, within our and area. Again, it may be determined that a roof replacement may be covered by the seller's insurance, but it is very, I'm reading from another, uh, some more information. It is very common for Atlas Chalet shingles to be covered by insurance and a full replacement be granted. However, if this is not the case, it is critical that the buyer be aware of what they are buying and be prepared to absorb the entire cost, out-of-pocket cost, of that roof uh, to be replaced in the future. So they have to have hazard insurance. So the cost of having the hazard insurance covered by the mortgage company for the entire life of the loan versus uh, replacing a roof, which at some point when they sell might come into play anyway. Um, just want to raise your awareness of that. Uh, I want to thank our agent, Kristen May, for bringing this to my attention and unfortunately having to go through it with her two clients. And I want to thank Halo Restorations and Construction for the extensive presentation that they have done at some of our offices regarding this issue. Again, I will link this information below from the Halo Restoration and Construction Company. Please check with your own roofing company. Uh, please check with the insurance company. Please do your own due diligence and research online and just start to become aware of how big of an issue this is going to be in our real estate industry. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Dana Sparks, Managing Broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta.